trucks. And the trucks in the U.S. are manufactured by that flexible so flexibility of manufacturing or something else. Hi, my name is Sanj Virasinghe. I'm uh, right now a full-time employee at GBT, and this is a project we worked on when I was a student at the Illinois Institute of Technology, which is based in the south side of Chicago. Uh, to give you a bit of background on this car, uh, Formula SA is a competition that's been going on for a while with lots of schools participating. But two years ago, uh, Dartmouth College, uh, with a you know, partnership with SAE and IEEE, decided to go ahead and do a Formula Hybrid competition. You know, kind of like promote hybrids. And uh, they've had the competition for two years. We've uh, participated in both. And at this year's competition, this was our entry that came in third, uh, something we are really proud of. To give you a brief overview of the hybrid drivetrain, what we've done is we've taken a 250cc engine, uh, Yamaha engine, and we've also added an electric motor. It's a DC electric motor. And what these, these two are connected to each other through this torque coupler here, which has two CVTs. The reason for the CVTs is that this now gives us the option of disengaging one of the two drives. So this gives us the option of driving it as a parallel, where you have the gas engine and the electric motor both providing propulsion power, or we can disengage it so that it's electric only or gas only, or with electric where the gas engine is running to charge up our batteries. We also have our generator down here, this uh, black casing right down here, which is what the engine runs so that our batteries are charged and we keep a constant state of charge. If you want to walk uh, around this way, uh, this is uh, an interesting aspect of the car. It's a student project built by about 30, 40 undergraduate students at IIT. And we use the Nalgene bottles for the fluids and the overflow. And Nalgene is as good as any uh, anything you can use for that. This is, uh, oh, this is the battery pack. Uh, we use lithium polymer batteries for that. Uh, it's about 1.8 kilowatt hours of battery here. And this is what, you know, the main source of our propulsion. Uh, right now, as you can see, we've disengaged the main battery from powering the motor for safety reasons, being an exhibition hall. And this is our battery. And if you look in here, we have an advanced, uh, I would like to call it a, a very advanced panel here. Uh, what this does is this monitors the overall system it also tells the driver what the state of charge of the battery is, uh, you know, how much is the electric motor you're using. What this does is it enables the driver to either push the car or he needs, you know, he needs to switch over to hybrid or he needs a gas engine to give you a bit more traction. And this box over here, this is the electronics. This is what makes everything happen. Uh, we have two, you know, we have a high voltage system, a low voltage system, and this is also the panel where we are managing the batteries to make, you know, it's a safety reason and also gives us sensing on the overall car so that we have optimum performance. Who funded this? Sorry? Who, uh, this who is, uh, it's an IIT project. We had some help from the, actually most of our funding came up from the Armour College of Engineering, which is the engineering school of IIT, and also the, uh, from Dr. Ali Amari's lab who is also the founder of HEVT, which is this pickup truck over here. Thank you. Sure, no, no problem at all. Thank you. Yeah, I was just talking to another gentleman. Uh, okay. Yeah.